All right, we're back. And, uh... We got some stuff, but... There's no real reason to go dismantle it, because these little... The things you get... Ten blue bars on fire. You could make something from the blacksmith. But you need other things to make it. Like, you need a Storm Shaman token and one ability. So you actually need ability plus a token. And the tokens drop from certain dungeons... So, if I wanted to make um, any of these things for the priest, like, if I wanted to try to do the Plague Doctor set, I would, let's say the top one, you would need the Plague Doctor priest set token. I had to go look up where it drops. So I'm not really sure if it's worth getting. Right? Uh, it's for... So I wouldn't dismantle those just yet because what you know i'm not planning on dying but you never know i mean that's a lot of stuff to just feed into this this is a pretty cool paladin insignia right if someone avoid rift for five seconds rift effect curse enemies and deals 200 damage within five squares max hit points and vitality so you don't heal anymore that's what it sounds like see and i kind of rely on the healed but amazingly Amazingly, we have we this is like the third day we've gotten to this point with this character. We have not died yet, which is really good. I have all these extra things that I can't feed because my power is low or whatever. And I have extra push soulbound push and defenses and we we successfully maxed out our defense. If we come here, you can see right here maxed out on this character so if we actually get any from dungeons we could just stick them in here now we need six more attack maxed out speed and i think the one i want to do now is try to get wisdom from undead lair i should be able to get it in solo it's only a rank three kind of like snake pit plus we need that daily anyway for rainbow road uh, we need Sprite World, which I don't know if I have those. We need Undead Lair, Tox Sewers, and Abyss of Demons. And I did Sprite World recently, and that's like the worst place to go. I do not like Sprite World. But we do have a lot of junk we're not using. I don't even know what this does. Within six squares, max HP removes negative effect on self. That's actually pretty cool. And this is, you hallucinate, but you get MP and Wisdom. Wow. So probably could switch those out. I don't even need healing pots because I can heal myself. They only heal 400, but my party heals 200. It's actually better just to use mana pots. Hallucinating is not good, but at least I get some f Wisdom out of it. Okay, we just want to drop some pots here, but we cannot... Probably don't need any of these marks, but I don't want to get rid of them just in case the dailies require them. Okay, this is an extra one. A seven wisdom one we don't need. So we could just dump some of this stuff off if we wanted, right? But we just have a lot of stuff that we're not using. All right, so that's, I think the first one is what? Sprite World, Undead Lair, Sprite World. Let's go to it. Everyone's trying to get into this one. I want a new one. Is this a regular one or is this a beta one? The regular ones are no good. I don't really like those. It is a regular one. I'll just leave. Those aren't my favorite. I like the beta ones are fun to go to. Try to get in there. We're queued number 13. I don't know how many people need to be on for... Um, for another beta cave to spawn. But... We don't necessarily need to kill Oryx until the quest reset here as well. Ancient Ruins, Curse, Abyss of Demons four times in one day? Ancient, well it gives ancient knowledge, right? Um, this one I thought is, no it's right here. You drink 10 stat potions in one day. I should, probably should have saved all mine. Looks like we did. We don't haven't done this one. Five plus plus five dungeons, which is what 
I think these are all four dungeons. Curse Library, Abyss of Demons. Probably Mountain Temple, Ice Age. They might all be pl five plus dungeons. I can look it up actually really quick while I'm sitting here. I'm number 11 in queue. Let's see. Five dungeons is in fact... Woodland Labyrinth Crawling Depths. That can't be. What five plus dungeons did I do? Davy Jones Lock. The Ice Cave I did one time. Ocean Trench I've done once. Getting carried through there. Crawling Depths, Woodland Labyrinth, Deadwater Docks. Ooh, I mean, it sounds hard. I would need a group. The Machines, only four. Bits of Demons is only four. Mad Lab. I haven't done Mad Lab. I don't want to. Curse Library drops. Like, what is it, Necromium, if I wanted that? Or, no. The, like, he the best healing tomb, I think. Tome. A tomb. But I should be able to stow Toxic Sewers, maybe. I've been in there. Not that funny there. Abyss of Demons I've done. Pretty, it's that one's not hard. So I need Sprite World. So it's Sprite World, Toxic Sewers, Abyss of Demons, and... Undead Lair. So, we got it. Almost might have been better just to go into Goblin as opposed to trying to get into Lumen. Because we're just standing around. But we're our fourth in queue. Nobody likes the old one. I like being able to port to the haunted, like the beacon, the haunted one, haunted woods or whatever. Try to spawn the Sprite World or Undead Lair. And maybe we can constant people going in by clicking on it what is this flowers in spring because you all seeds you can gather from flowers that have started blooming in some dungeon give yourself a new floral demise gravestone set well I'm close I guess right 79% uh, okay um, desert beacon haunted hollows is good to start Snake pit, don't need. Oh, I think I'm behind a wall. Damn. Call um, me names. <laughs> we pull undead lair, it'd be good. Forks castle is cool. I mean, I want the. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can get people coming here. I make it um, tier three dexterity undead layer. Anybody? Okay, somebody might be going in. Just wait a sec. Two people. Just wait. Three people. Four people. Lots of people. Now we're going in. That's the way to do it. Try to run through this. Don't get hit by those traps. I've been one shot before. And looks like everyone's up there. There's too many people for me to actually stop and teleport, so we just do this instead. Did he die? Oh, now he's dead. And we pull this, and we pull this, and we pull this egg. And that's it. Cool. Sprite world now. There it is. I really don't like Sprite world. This is my least favorite dungeon. I'm literally going to wait for everyone to go to the boss. And I'm going to teleport right to him. Just going to wait. Least favorite. There we go. This guy got it already. Kill this guy. Kill this guy, because I, I want to be able to pick up my bat without getting killed. And we'll just switch that out. Dex potion. We gone. Okay, so I think it's toxic sewers next, right? 
actually want to... Toxic Sewers, I think, drops... Dead Church area might be it. So we're going to go over there. Sprite Forest. Okay. Check this off. Call Toxic, please. Wetlands. Might have just doing an Oryx anyway. Manor of the Mortals. I just. For somebody that wants it. Anybody wants it? Oh. Y'all are welcome. I actually stood around and waited. Busy reading, just ran right on, all into that stuff. Get these guys out of here. Magic pot. Magic pot. Give a thousand treasures. Sprite world already did. mobs and stuff going on here. Slow is terrible. Sprite world. This must not be where toxic drops. I don't see any sledge dudes. Say like kiting is the name of the game. You just need to kite as much as you can. All right for poop party. Poop party? This Santa Claus knight comes to me, I can heal him. Magic forest, magic woods, I mean. Kill that eyeball. 97%, we're probably just gonna do Oryx and then. That'd be that. Turn nine. This would be the spot where, if it was gonna, if I was gonna get toxic sewers, this would be it around here maybe. Maybe. I don't see him though. Oh, ancient ruins right here if anybody needs it. Oh, that dude drops toxic right there. Don't want to go in there and accident. Another manor. Abyss of demons, but we're going to wait till, or maybe we'll get a better weapon or something. Maybe.
What am I by? Abandoned city beacon. Okay. So that's probably... I pay attention to that next time I... Want to come out to here. What is this? Defense? Yeah, it's defense. Magic Woods. Just waiting to get tellied into Oryx. Be any second now. Oop. Be careful. Medusa's drop. Uh, snake pits, right? Yeah. Don't know if anyone needs this, but I'll dro <laughs> drop it for him anyway, or link him. Okay, a lot of mana of immortals. We need toxic sewers, which I thought those things drop it. Let me see real quick while it's lagging. Uh, yeah, these dudes guaranteed drop from Lucky Slime. Okay, let's wait a sec. Let's just throw a heal out for fun. Don't want to get quite. <laughs> Where'd that come from? It literally was like we don't want to die from that. Some dude has an oryx-looking pet, and that always throws me off too. And supposedly these guys drop stuff. Uh, it's supposed to be good for a priest. The ST set or whatever. The Mad Oryx stuff. These guys drop one. I believe. So we're supposed to kill every one of them. Let's do this. I don't know if that's all of them. We just heal everyone for fun. In case somebody needed healing. Right? Wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. No, oh, got silenced. Quiet. Gonna take forever to get my hit points back. Just use. There we go. Kill everyone. Back it up, back it up, dead. Any gear? Uh, tier 9 and egg. Better be careful what you're doing though, because tier 4 and tier 11, so nope. Not good for me. Just heal everyone for fun. The cool thing is if you're in a group like this and you have a bard, it actually is cool. Can't see my reticle though. Where is it? There it is. Uh, nope. Wizard. I don't need these, but. chamber oh. be careful I might run into just death like yeah those balls right there let me just try to beat this dude then while I'm sitting here oh there's a lot of it a lot of them that was quieted 
There's only one real way to get in there. No fuck. No way to even get to hit him. Wow, what a waste. What a waste. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Just unbelievable. Well, I have somebody open the wine cellar, so... Let's hope something drops here. And it's a good time to move with everybody, because... If you're behind them, and they run too fast ahead of you, you'll be stuck trying to fight mobs on your way to, uh... Oryx there. Now, I have my speed cap, so I guess it's the fastest I can move. Not that... It's not that slow, not that fast. Oh, there's lag. I just need to get a touch on him. Oh, oh. I died. There it goes. Don't know how I died. Hit some lag. I mean, what a damn waste. Damn. Well, and I was close. Yeah, I got 500 there. Best of life fame, 506. That really sucked. I mean, three days worth. I hit a lag spike or something. Uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna try Necromancer then. Man. What a waste. Well, guess we'll start over again. Now, I'm pretty sure I do have this thing, some garb for the Necromancer. There's the only reason why I chose one. I have some for the Bard, the Pally, a Knight, the Infernal Flail, and then there's this thing here, Hit Points, Defense, Vitality. Hit Points, Defense, Dex. So, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to open up to maybe get Say so we want to hit level 20 right away. We want to do drop potion. And boy, that stinks. Let's see. What can we make? Now we got some garbs, right? So maybe UT. Maybe a weapon. We could do save Abram's wand, but it's not that good. Can also do amulet of dispersion. Plus two to everything. There's also this shroud, which we don't need. Uh, weapon, samurai, and a tomb, and a trickster. Sprite wand. And staff of the crystal serpent. Two shots, rate of fire. 134. I mean, this probably isn't bad. But I probably could just go farm it, right? Like, where does Staff Crystal Serpent drop? Let's see. I don't even know if that's good. Let's look at the classes. Look at the Necromancer and Energy Staff. Hit points, character skins. Let's look at the guide real quick. Um, some staves. Doesn't say anything about beginner stuff. Says Sprite World to boot. Uh, what? The staff extreme pressures fires 10 shots in a circle, dealing absurd DPS and effective range of zero on enemies that you can safely stand on, such as towers. There's simply no contrary drops from common dungeons Sprite World. Extreme Prejudice. I think I've seen that. Cosmic Wonder, Far Core. Excellent range, great damage, and ideal weapons to farm gods and bosses alike. There are a few UT staves that have comparable damage. Cosmic Hole and Vile. 
Yeah, la la la. la. Stage of Ryan and Raymond of Utility to Necrotancer. Staff of Esmond. Superior kinds of power staff, only two for staff. Da 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 da. Royal Mad Scientist. Da 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 da. Well, let's look at the class items, right? Let's see. Class? No. Um, Items. And we have equipment. And we have. Set tier items, and what am I running? What is this thing? The cuboid necromancer. This one. Okay, it looked like a weird. This is the 30 second she said to be released. This is interesting and fun alternative to tiered equips from the necromancer. Stab has shorter range and unique shot pattern, but has high potential damage output. This cult does not directly heal or damage. Instead, focus on summoning short range minions to deal damage. The rope provides a strong reactive proc to deal extra damage to enemies, and the ring helps out the lack of healing with its own reactive proc. The set bonus makes this even more effective when, when worn together, as the Necromancer will want to be close to enemies in order to maximize damage with staff, skull, and robe. The healthy bonuses to hit points, even as vitality assists with this, and large dex boost, especially effective for increasing against due to the Necromancer's relatively low dex stat. Well, where is all this stuff dropped from? Standard quests, mighty quest chests, sprite goddess. Masquerader, Shadow Clue. Okay, where's the Tesseract Goddess? The third dimension. Yeah, that's not happening. So it'll be a while to even get that weapon. So I don't even know what weapon to go with, to be honest. We'll just do what we did before. We're just going to farm dungeons to increase our stats. I can't believe I died right there. I mean, I didn't think I was running into something that was going to kill me like that. I really don't think so. Um. Well, we could. Wow, oh, we lost all that stuff. Well, first things first. Probably go do, go farm some stuff. Actually, and I didn't even get to turn in those those coins. Like I haven't died in so long. I can't believe it's just one little bit of. Lag really did that. I like the I enjoy the priest too. Four hours, twenty-one minutes. We don't even have to look at this stuff. We're like too low for any of that. So I man. What a buzzkill. I mean, I bought the pass. All this stuff I used on that priest. All these things. To try to get some gear. Energy staffs are cool. We'll just go into Gawa and we're just going to farm the... There's... Oh, there's one right here. Let's do this. Enter. Yay. Oh, nope. No, we want this. What? Tier 1. So it's just an AoE damage, right? And a heal. A little heal. Got a loot potion on. That's for tier two, I think it was right here. Yep. thing is that it's an AOE heal. I think that's the very weird about it. Tier three, tier one. Didn't get didn't get the ring. This will go. Okay. Move so slow. Dance nest. Man, I'm still kind of mad about dying. 
pirate cave. Oh no, that's... Is it? We need this. Oh, hello. We just want to fill up on those. Get to the boss here, which this dude's already on the boss, so. Did he die already? No. He didn't. He just did, though. Now he did. Tier 3, tier 1, tier 2. He did not drop the ring again. No, no upgrades. Okay. Now, we're four heroes remaining in the Oryx in the realm, so we'll just wait. We'll do Oryx. Try not to die. Since we're using this thing. Forest Maze. Probably good. Go do. Okay. Where's the Forest Maze? Somewhere? Nowhere? Where did he click that and took off? Another pirate cave. Here's a forest maze. Kind of want the ring, so I think we're going to go pirate cave right now. What the hell? Okay. Oh, there it is. They, they kill the boss so quick, too. Wisdom? Okay, we'll just do dexterity. They kill the boss so quick in the, um, the one before. I just rushed in to try to damage the boss and must have took too much damage or something. Not really sure what happened there. Still didn't get the ring. Was... I don't know. I don't know if I want to do untiered. Oh, it took me out. Yeah, that stinks. Am I pushing the wrong buttons here? Or is it closed so we can't get in now? Okay, it's just taking me to Nexus. Weird. The real question is, is this in fact a staff? Like if we go to untiered... And we go down here to this. It is a staff. Wizard, Necromancer, Mystic. New staff used before sacrifice. Kind of good. Rate of fire, 110%. XP bonus, 2. Shoots, shoots 2. 60 to 9. I mean, it's probably actually really good. There's also the cracked crystal skull. 197. Higher cost, but increased hit points. Steals 58 points. Ignores 20 defense. Heals allies within the squares. We're probably actually going to make... Oh, you can actually farm this. And let me see where it's farmable at. Um, uh, I thought it was the... It's not the forest maze. It's the... It's not the jungle. It might be the snake pit. I think it's forbidden jungle, actually. It is. You can actually get all of these from the forbidden jungle. It's all the mixed coddle max god. Mast god. Crystal Bone Ring. Oh, that drops all the time. So, we're pro maybe we're going to do the staff and then the Cracked Skull and then go farm for the ring. I think that's what we'll do. So, we can make the staff. And then we'll make the skull. There we go. Then go get the ring, right? I don't think these are even s like set bonus stuff. So, this, this, this. We want to drop 
these off. We don't need them anymore. Okay. So if we go, f we're going to run around and try to find a snake and go get, let's go to this one. I don't even care to do Oryx. That's where I die all the time. I, I don't even think I should go in there anymore. I die there quite a bit trying to tag the boss. Okay, so if I come here, it should be under forest. Undead forest? No. Beach beacon. This is what beacon is this? Don't know. Let's just slowly come here. Tier two? No. Normally, if we just kind of run around here, it might drop or something. I feel like my defense is really low. I have to go probably come back on later when the quests reset, and then I can get more defense pots again. Because I had nowhere to put them in the vault because I'm holding on to those tokens. I probably should just get rid of those too. Because there's too many dailies in a row that said to kill Oryx in the castle. So I held on to them. Let's see. No, 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 no. No. I feel like there's a beacon somewhere around here. Probably. So we have a beacon. Oh. if that's barely healing or what all right so this dude desert beacon oh boy is this where that fire bird is probably is i mean i don't need it could try to kill the bird and get um maybe a pot or something help Stinks, so you gotta beat her twice. I don't have enough hit points. Okay, there we go. We're not really relying on wisdom for our heals. It's a very small heal. Okay, kill that boss. Uh, we need this. No, we need this. Tier 5. It's not better. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these. Okay. What is this one? Attack or Dex? I think Dex is cool. What does this ring say? Red attacks with four, five short range attacks only hit for more than 20 damage. All right, cool. Retaliation is cool. The speed is so dang slow. Okay, get this pile on. Or beacon, or whatever you want to call it. Tier five. Why can't I find... Okay, so I'm pretty sure in some woods like this, we should be able to... find the Forbidden Temple. 
drops off a snake, and I usually run into it pretty fairly easily. How is this tier 7 better than this? That has less defense. Same wisdom, I think. Nah, more wisdom, but I don't need wisdom. Looking for... Kind of weird they have to be close to everyone, too, to... Yikes. So I don't see a snake anywhere. Now I would like to do this ancient ruins. I probably could solo it. It would take a while, though. But um, if they if it has the... Oh, they just put me in automatically, which is very strange. Okay, so if it has the genie, I mean, that'd be pretty good. Why does it feel like... There we go. It's going to be a long grind, though. And I think this is also... Whoop. My defense is rather low. Wearing a large chainmail. Let's turn this back this up. There's the genie. Right on. I right, got the healing pots ready. Okay. I don't even know how I beat him. Please, defense. Speed. And an archer bow. All right. Now we don't really have to go looking around. We just go straight to the boss. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, a little bit of 3D-ish style when you spin this around. 
Okay. Better to turn it so I can see where I'm going. Oh. I'm gonna close that guy. You might actually kill me. Where is the boss? Up to flower to kill. Vitality's up. I guess it's cool. I probably should farm this dungeon or the pots because these flowers give a lot of another genie I've never seen two before the AOE on this is Cool. It ignores defenses and steals hit points. So, man, you got to be close. Let me just touch this here. Does this count as rubbing? There we go. We did it. We got something to dismantle. Okay, vitality good. And an attack one, that's good. Now if we could just find the boss quickly, it would be great. Can you die by sitting in the quicksand? I hope not. This hallucinates, I'm good. It's like one of the worst things right here. There we go. Oh, it's a flower. No, 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 don't kill me. Nope. Another dude, flower? No. Here's the ring, camp point. Can't campaign points, camp point. Let me talk. Missed my priest already. This health feels so good. Pally's alright. I don't like this short range attack. Why did you say it's over here? Okay, there we go.
I guess that's the give and take, right? Is you do more DPS um, as the necromancer compared to the priest. Was his defense? I don't need defense. Maybe. The boss should be up here soon, hopefully. this guy No. Waiting. A lot of waiting. Oh, I'm, gonna, oh, I'm dead. Dead. Whew. We lived. <laughs> right, I'm going to pause it. Well, here we are. We're actually going to. We almost died. Thank goodness we didn't. Now we're looking for a spot that maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe a forbidden maze or whatever it is will drop. Not forbidden maze. Forbidden forest or something. We can just find a snake laying around. Could try Ancient Ruins again. Almost died. But they drop a lot of potions there, especially if you kill the genies. <laughs> nope. Green crystals barely matter. Just pretend they don't exist. The green crystals? People are talking about something I don't know what they're talking about. Oh. Tier 5. Don't need that. Need some health potions. Oh. Why did he just jump on me? And I guess we could go in there and do... I think we are. I think we're going to try one more ruins and then call it. Come back in a few hours when the... Dailies are back up. Oh, nope. Way. 
Okay, hopefully find a genie room early on. I probably could switch to a healing pet, actually. Maybe. Plants have a lot of help. Yeah, cool. An extra pot right there. Defense? Ah, life. ST. I already have this one. Means you could destroy it for... Yeah, when it gives us that, which I don't really need. A little bit of lag. So, definitely a good time to call it. After this, someone is even complaining in the chat why it's so laggy. Like, why lag is that laggy? Wisdom again. Flower is gonna bloom there. Just had a feeling. Boss is nearby. Good, good. Take some damage. Fine. Seems like my dex is higher than... Hit points, defense, vitality. We actually could just put that on. All right, let's see if this time we can do it. Like that. We'll just kite him around in this circle instead. He's lagging a bit, though. sure you don't land in some oh oh that's close I think we're gonna get him this time just kind of walking back and forth no we didn't get him should be dead there he's dead we did get need that my question is should we go looking for a genie it's probably worth it just to get another pot or so maybe try to find some more of these flowers might be worth it too Dude, survive. Come on, die. There we go. Dropped another one of those. 
Let's get this guy. Seem to be dropping like candy now. Okay, we can put these here. Uh, no. This. This. Actually, hurt me pretty bad. this thing it's taking forever grab anything no kind of hard to see to be honest tier six now again good enough look at her defense okay so we have one more spot to go oryx i don't, don't think i'm gonna fight him unless i need to for the daily i mean i don't even want to you're just trying to get in there to tag him one time you take so much damage in fact if you lag you die it's happened to me already enough times Tier three ring. Mana pot. I'm trying to really use mana pots on the necromancer. Tier six. Kill this bird. Oh, hello. See that guy there? Is there flowers coming up? Yes. Exactly what we're looking for here. Attack. Soulbound, huh? Mana pot. Don't don't really need it. Is that it? Um. I think so. I think we're out. I think that's it. No genie in that one. But we did get some stuff, so let's come here. Oh, I know that that wand is cool, or whatever it is that staff that I was just showing. Gears okay. We can dismantle at least one of these. And but of course, if we wanted to make anything, we just can't. Just kind of strange. Like, what's the best one for the necromancer wizard? Ne so shaman staff, staff of grisly warp wood cradling and luminous green gemstone. It's said to be powered by souls trapped in the gem. So you only shoot one time, has a range of eight, slower rate of fire, but more damage. Then shoots a second bullet, rate of fire, 55%. Shots him also has piercing. Dex and vitality actually probably is pretty good since, I don't know, we're not really relying on our ability to do damage, really. Doesn't do that much damage. Something like the Sorcerer is really good for that. Kill Billy Warrior. Huntress, Free Sorcerer Summoner, can't be used by Necromancer, the Ritual Skull, Summoner Ritual Circle for six seconds, Ritual Effect, what does it say? Within three squares, damage at the radius, scaling up to damage at the center, every one second damage decreases over time, healing within three squares with the Fang Necklace, Ritual Circle gives Berserk, 
Soul Gem Amulet, the Ritual Circle Inflict Load, Act Dex. Oh, it is a Shaman Dex. That one actually seems pretty cool. A rocket launcher for a necromancer? Or the wizard. Or the... There's a storm shaman. Hit point, speed, and wisdom. I guess that's the only thing that's okay. Bolts in a bottle. Or I said this whole shaman necromancer. What was the other one? I was just like... Arm Shaman. Shaman, no. Shaman Necromancer. Fang Necklace. Gives you Berserk. Or you can slow mobs down. Uh, so you can pick one of the two, huh? Witches are also now flick slowed. Now, where do you get this? Where do you get the Shaman Necromancer set token? We can look it up real quick. I think that's what we'll do. need this or this, but we'll just let it sit there for a second. Okay, Shaman Necromancer set. Set tier items? No. Yeah. Shaman Necromancer. Got the Hollow King and the Reaper. Where's the Shaman one? The bottom? Storm Shaman set? Shaman Necromancer. Okay. Is it for a really long side Alchemist Assassin? Is the third ST for the this says also the first one to contain more than one ST ring. No information on it. Puppet Master, Encore, Crystal Worm, and Malice obtained from the through the forge. Puppet Master Encore. Referred in, in game simply as Puppet Master is the boss of Puppet Master Encore. He's a stronger version of the Puppet Master. And Puppet Master Encore. Oh. Wow, I mean it would take forever to get that. You can also buy it from the buy a key for it. And you need people. Drops of interest. Oh, I've seen that. Shield rune. ST Master's Chest. And Light Show Scepter. Well where's the where is the thing you need? Like where do you get the items? Okay, let's go back. Okay, so drops from Crystal Worm Mother, Crystal Cavern. Yeah, no. Lots of phases, drops a bunch of stuff. Must be like this ST's Master Chest. Is that what it drops? Oh, yes, it drops tokens. There it is. So it depends on what you're on, right? So, what's Malice? Malice? Well, the is the boss of the cultist hiding somewhere in the Lost Halls. Lost Halls? Yeah. Man. What's the cultist hideout? Okay. Boosting speed. So, that set is really far away from actually getting it. That's pretty cool, though. But, all right, that's it. We'll come back when there's the dailies to do so I can try to get some more gear. But well, this will do for now. Plus the daily should give something like, oh, my dexterity, no, my defense 26. Yeah, yeah. I think it stopped at 35 on the priest. And what is it, 34 defense? So it's 40, I could say, um, on the... Necromancer. Rightfully so, you gotta get close. So we want Dex probably. And maybe Wisdom? Nah. Yeah, maybe Dex Wisdom or Attack Dex. Alright. See you in the next one.